everybody, I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome back to part, uh, I don't know, 12, maybe, of, uh, my, check, check the, check the video, check the video title, of my Shang Ching Chong Guo campaign. Uh, so right now we are at war with the Ma Click, preparing also for war with Tibet. That's going to kick off in about a month, so I actually probably should, oh wait, no, 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 cancel, cancel the canceling, and then this will start in February. Um, let's say I wanted to do this. Oh no, bad idea, bad idea. We should wait until we're at war with Mongolia or something. But uh, right now we're just trying to uh, clean up the, the cliques here in the northwest, uh, particularly Mongolia, Turkestan, Tibet, and you know, Mongolia, of course, we're fighting right now. Uh, but I think we're about to win the Ma Click War here. Um, I don't imagine we'll have to go north to Zhengye. That's only worth one victory point, while Lengzuo is worth five. But even if we do have to head north, which again, I don't think we will, um, I think we can actually, let's just counterattack here. This guy's got low org. Yeah, we've got him anyway. Oh, nice, they had anti air equipment. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of stuff just ended. And, and like I said, we're not gonna, if we go to war with Japan, I really want to emphasize this. That's it. It's game over. Uh, and if, uh, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to have, uh, I'm trying to have Zhu Dian here do more fighting because he's pretty close to becoming, uh, both a skilled staffer and an engineer. So he can have all the traits pretty soon. Nothing like putting all your eggs in one general's basket. Okay, so if I justified now... No. Oh, wait, no, yeah, because the, the Tibet thing's still not done. Uh, okay, yeah, but... Come on. Reassemble, reassemble, reassemble. They might have 34 divisions, these folks. Uh, but yeah, if Japan attacks us, that's it. I'll probably just quit on the spot. There's simply with with the Indian Empire included in their in their sphere, there's simply no way because Japan is going to certainly be ahead of me technologically. So the, the argument becomes, well, we could beat them with numbers, but no, with the Indian Empire at their disposal, uh, look, they're already starting to spike. They might have as much as two million plus uh, population. They're going to start coring more. There's no realistic way to beat them. Uh, all right, what do we got here? Pressing sailors and stuff. Maybe if I purchase ship designs from them, they'll leave me alone. Uh, get the better fighters going. Great. Got some people here who aren't assigned. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what I should have been doing some time ago? Completely forgot. So much, yeah, with the new infrastructure stuff, there's so much in this game you have to keep track of. Uh, is, uh, should have been making some, like, transport planes for supply. Nordic Federation. So they unified? Sure did. I like that color. I remember when I did a run of this. People didn't like it. <laughs> I don't remember though what uh, what my party was. It was I think it was a couple years ago now that I did that run. All right, we got the better anti-air. Awesome. All right, it's telling me here large river crossing and divisions are prepared and whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty bad out here, the supply. Yeah, ooh, real, real bad. There is nothing. There's not a supply hub to be found. Oh, I guess there was this one, but it's been cut off. Uh, very, very bad stuff. I guess I should make a supply hub like here. And then maybe do something like... There goes Moscow. Yeah. 
And then... There we go. Yeah, so that'll sort of be the start of it. Yeah, get, a, get that going there. Okay, right click. And then... Uh, yeah, of course that's not going to be done anytime soon. Well, the justification's finished. It's sort of irrelevant now, isn't it? Um, let's see what we can make happen. All right, now hold on. How long is it going to take to justify on Turkestan? Like 200 days? Yeah, that's fine. We'll see what we can do. I think I probably may make some progress in the south at least. Oh yeah, yeah, we're just we're just crushing these fools. Ooh, maybe not. Yeah, low supply, lack of fuel Lack of fuel What? I got plenty of fuel, but the river crossing's hurting me. Uh let's just see where their closest supply hub is. Yeah, we just need to take Yushu here. And I think we'll be okay. Relatively okay. Maybe not. Uh, let's keep heading this way. You attack here. Yeah, we, we just need Yushu. And then uh, we'll have our supply in the south. See, and then that takes us. Yeah, that'll cut off their whole northern army. And we can just ride the rail to Lahasha. Lahasha. Lahasha? Lahasha, 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 Lahasha. Yeah, something like that. Uh... Don't need the war propaganda. Can't integrate Guangdong because of reasons. Oh, I never ended up getting these guys. Um, hmm. I guess I did that. If I wanted to, I could also jack up my conscription even more. Yeah, let's go to service by requirement just for fun. Start hit approaching that 10 million recruitable power, right? There you go, just like that, our supply problems are gone, well, at least in the south, and there's, uh, uh, they're the ones who really, really are going to have some issues right now. Get this cut off here, and that is that, or going to be that, pretty soon here. There we go, yep. Let the squeezing begin. Mm, how am I doing on logistics? Am I sure anything? Nope, I'm, I'm pretty dang good everywhere. Uh, let's keep getting more motorized, though. Right now we're going to need more rubber. There we go. Who did Brazil end up joining? Was it the Germans? No, the Montevideo Treaty. Who's in that? <laughs> Nobody. It's just them in Uruguay. It's Argentina that joined the Germans, right? Uh, Charles Lindbergh is in charge. Oh, so the counter coup happened to Pelly. Was there not a pop up for that? Did I accidentally close it or something? Uh, see, so they're they're entering the fray. They haven't decided where yet, though. None of that's really relevant to me anyway. Bet's almost down. Let's take a look at that casualty count. Oh, I've lost much more than them. It's probably all right here. Investigate missing shipments. For the past few months, vital commerce has been disrupted along the Qingdao Jinan Railway. An ongoing police investigation has only determined that it is not the train line employees. No other possibilities have been ruled out yet. Zeng Tianran has been called in to supervise the investigation before it becomes a major scandal in Jinan. The police, ever cautious of the Chinese border guards outside of Qingdao, have suggested we investigate the railway relay stations first. Zeng Tianran, on the other hand, is of the suspicion that the islands are being stolen along the deserted stretches of countryside between Qingdao and Jinan. Which should we investigate first? Uh... Well, it says we're going to get political power any, either way, but 
I'm a little bit confused here. It says investigate the railway. Je the, the police are saying we need to investigate the railway. And then Jing Ron says it's being between Qingdao and Jinran. Obviously, this was like written under the idea that, you know, we hadn't unified all this. So we want to do what the what the patriarch says. So the police say investigate the railway, so we will instead investigate the border. I, think, I feel like they could have made the text of that a little bit more clear. Just a little, a little bit, though. It's not, it's not a huge deal. It's fine. Uh, all right. Cool, we took the impassable terrain area. Yeah. Come on. Let's keep this squeeze up. Yeah, I want to see this Tibet and KD ratio. Evidence of bribery at border stations. The police were right. The border station was certainly suspicious. But it just said that the police wanted me to look at the railway, not the border. Whatever. Uh, initial inspection. The small shack, the houses, the border guards could barely fit five occupants. Upon inspecting the floor of the shack, however, a large empty alcove was... Alcove alcove was discovered there being no logistical use for such a large empty space below the shack the police chief decided to arrest the attending border guards although there's some risk this will anger our sellers in Qingdao. law and justice are on our side so we're losing 25 political power where is this going where is this going this is just the missing imports thing where's the money at where it at okay we finally finished the artillery line the border guards have been arrested and confessed to smuggling. They break down under interrogation, proclaiming poverty has driven them into a scheme where one of them stalls trains coming from Qingdao while the other steals items from the carts. These guards have begged for prison over execution and offered all their remaining loot as collateral. Tseng Tim Rong has ultimately decided to continue with execution, seeing as the Jinan jails are already too crowded as it is. Justice is fair above all else. So I think that was a net 15 political power we lost over those imports. Why are you attacking over the river, man? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Railway is secure. News reached the corners of Shandong that Zheng Qianran had uncovered the railway thieves. Many people did not believe it, they being so used to corrupt and ignorant governance coming out of Jinan. That is a step in the right direction. Has renewed hope in the government. <sighs> Traffic along the railway has also increased. Proof our actions did not disrupt the machinations. Uh, in Qingdao. Now we can improve the rails. Oh, okay, so we ended up getting a net gain for our uh, political power. Nice. See, now we're running into some troubles here. Troublesome, 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 troublesome. Hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. We're not making any sort of headway there. But look at the Tibetan casualties spike. They're about to be 10 times what they were a few weeks ago. Because, uh, yeah, they're losing their entire army up here. And I'm willing to bet that's most of their guns, too. On the other hand, they have been at peace uh, for most of the game after that. Actually, not most of the game in terms of the calendar year. But you know, so, so they spent so much time fighting Ma Click, but then they haven't done anything since that they probably have a huge surplus of... Um, rifles and whatnot so let's wait for everybody to um come back down here to lahash uh, uh so they, they might have a surplus oh they're almost out of a uh, recruitable population though because i took so much core land and uh you know killed a bunch of them boy what No, 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 don't you be pushing me back. Oh, they're, they're going to defend with Cav here, really? Oh, sorry, Caesar. Hit Caesar with my foot. He's laying on the carpet by me. Uh, more propaganda. Okay, but I have so much excess equipment that I'm pretty sure I could just make a, a whole other army here. Probably a couple of new armies if I really wanted. Nope, nope, that's why I started to run out of equipment. So that'll do for now. See, so yeah, I have these guys still here in the south. Let's see, those need seven more. Wait, miscounted. There we go. 
Okay, is mostly everybody down here? Pretty much. Uh, go on the offensive, please. How's this going? 91% of the way towards being a skilled staffer, 89% of the way toward being an engineer. Mm-hmm. 95% toward being a trickster. Nice. Uh, none of these really matter. I guess let's get this. Oh, could have been getting daily air experience gain this whole time. Oh, let's keep one of you attacking uh, westerly so that uh, you stop reinforcements from coming in here. Nice, here we go. Keep them pinned. And I think that's going to be that once we take their capital. Now, how long until the Turkestan War starts? April? All right, so that'll be a couple months after the Mongolia one. I think that all works out nicely. All right. Tell you, with this music, this really is relaxing. Uh, at least for me. Oh, we're going to get an event here. Engineers caught selling naval secrets to Shandong. Watch that be the thing that triggers the war. These ones all ready to go. They could do a little bit of training. Really, they they have not capitulated. What's uh what's going on, Tibet? Ninety nine percent to capitulation. All right, so I got to take a couple tiles. Dang it! Now they got the river line though, and then this is. Like, I see map. Oh no, it's desert actually. It's part of the plateau. Huh. Um, yeah, I'm just nervous about running out of motorized. That's why I keep dumping more and more in there. Okay. Now, let's come over to recruitment. I think we can send these out already. Yeah. Oops. Wait, what? Oh, I accidentally took one from over here. Hold on, hold on. Which one did I steal? Yeah, you. Yeah, you stay there. Nice, did he just do it? Uh... Yep, finally became an engineer. Very nice. So now we get the uh, scavenger, although I don't really need it anymore, actually. So, but still, I wanted it. My right, level 7 general. It's always with China that you get them this high. <laughs> Alright, how many more days on this? It was February something, February 6th. Okay, good. Uh, all that infrastructure and stuff seems to be going reasonably well here. Yeah, we got our supply hubs. Upgrade the bottlenecks, please, here. Uh, I think we're going to need another supply hub in the northwest. Let's put it like there. And... Uh, I, I, God damn, it's control click. And then click. Yeah, there we go. That was weird. Uh, what is going on here? Like, they shouldn't have supply. They got nothing back there. Yeah, no, oh, no, they do have... Did they build this new hub? I should say. Madrid fell again. Yeah, Madrid, Madrid must be in absolute ruins uh, the way it's been going back and forth. You know what? Let's check on the casualties of the uh, this the Spanish Civil War. So between these two, they've lost uh, about 1.2 million. Pretty awful. Hold on, so this is this is between the Kingdom and the Carlists. It's 1.2 million between them. But the numbers are different here. Because, yeah, these are just the, 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 the casualties and relations to each other. But I think it's safe to say, it's, obviously, they're over a million. They could easily be around two million total dead. That's military deaths, too. That's not counting civilians, who I'm sure, sure have been suffering relentlessly. Because when did the war kick off? 37? Something like that? Insane. Yeah. Let's 
Let's get these guys way out of the way of the supply. Okay. Uh, this is impassable, right? Okay, good. Excellent, excellent! Demobilize economy or ease up on conscription. Uh, I don't think I will. <laughs> this, I think, is going to be a total cakewalk. Uh, yeah, Mongolia doesn't have shit up there going for them. Uh, let's get that motorization level higher. Why can I not do that? Why is it not letting me? It only lets me go up to uh, cavalry. What's up with that? How about here? Okay, so this I could do. I guess it's because of the level of the hub or something. Supply limit through cap is, is currently limited by the railway level. Oh, it's already looking better. All right, here we go. Oh, potential enemies. Mongol Russia is guaranteeing them. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Then again, Russia's about to drop. Uh, Russia is 35% of the way toward defeat. And if we attack through Mongolia and force them to move anybody this way... You see, what's, what, what actually is kind of making Russia last longer is because Transamir has taken some of this land in the east. And I don't think they have cores on it anymore. They give up their cores. No, they don't give up their cores. But it's not calculated in the victory points. So, you know, the... the you know, Austria here is going to have to be hanging out in Central Asia before Russia finally drops. We're going to do it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not afraid of them. We can call in East Turkestan. They're considered an ally of mine, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, um, let Russia come. That'll seal their fate. I'm not scared of them. They can only attack me, uh, through Mongolia. Because they don't have a Pacific fleet anymore. They have no reasonable means of evading my coast. And even if they did, which they don't, I've got my coast protected anyway by two other armies that I haven't even seen combat. Yeah, everybody in the Reichstag wants to uh, be my friend now. But there's no need. All right. 8.14 million recruitable population and counting. Good stuff. Let's see if we can hit our division limit. Just really make the lag horrendous here, you know? The lag will get better once Russia is gone. Oh, nice! There, a lot of people want to give me lend lease now. That's so funny. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that's a side benefit. The Japanese engineer sells designs. Clandestine deal went sideways, but the final sale appears to be salvaged. So that must be something with Japan getting the event about the attempted sale or the news. Shortly before the transaction was made, the Kawasaki Corporation alerted us they have given permission to sell naval designs so it's legally. The engineers we were in contact with are now in prison. The surprising turn of events bodes poorly, but it's pretty satisfactory. So we're going to get a shipbuilding focus for a year, which actually hurts our daily political power gain, but dockyard output goes up and we get some productions. Yeah, so we just got all this stuff, which, like, who cares, because I'm not going to build a navy anyway. I'm just doing this stuff to kill time. Shipbuilding focus is gone. What? We don't fill its requirements anymore. Our enemies uh, make ready f for war. According to our spies in Jin Zhao, the Republic of China is preparing to declare war on us soon. This one will be a fight for survival. This information was discovered thanks to our intelligence activities or relative decryption level. Oh, wow. And yet we apparently know nothing about what's going on out here. Oh, geez, this guy. I forgot I had him looking at Yunnan, so he hasn't been even seeing the situation up here. Yeah, if I had just given myself Beijing, I think this wouldn't happen. Like, I think Feng Tian would have gone for me eventually, but I'd be even stronger, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Like I said, as soon as they declare war, that's gonna be it. Actually, I'm probably just gonna... You know what? This is just gonna be the finale. I guess it probably would have been in the title, huh? Um, this war's gonna start in April. Because... 
I really, really cannot. Oh, there we go. They, they just uh, declared war right now. Never mind. Uh, so, like, let's... Like, let's move... Like, if I try to move my best... Uh, general over here to hold them. Yeah, we're now at war with everybody. Look at that. Uh, we, we're not even covering the Tibet line. Um... Although they can only really come through here. Have to keep making divisions because these guys suck. Uh, yeah, and that'd be that. Like, and, and even with the Reich spot giving me aid, um... Let's see, yeah. Let's, let's see what happens as soon as they start trying to attack me, which they are not yet for some reason. Oh, shoot, yeah, and then there's this whole area in Vietnam. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. It's just way too much. Uh, so, again, let's let's restress this. Restress this, even though people are going to complain anyway. Like, the people who understand aren't going to be complaining, but, okay. Let's say Japan only, in quotation marks, had 62 divisions. I'm sure those divisions are much better than mine. But, like, the planes... Look at that. They've got at least 2.2 thousand planes. Whereas me, I've got 150 out in the field. Let's see. Let's say even if I deployed everything I had here... Like, it's not going to be much. It ain't even going to get me to, like, 500 is what I'm saying. So, like, if I did that... Yeah, see, so 182 plus 1 plus 56, we're not even, we don't even have 300 planes. And they could potentially have uh, 10 times that. So I'm going to have no superiority in the air whatsoever. They're going to massacre me. No air cover. Um, let's take a look at the compositions of some of these units that we're dealing with. So, like, the Republic of China itself, what have they got? Engineers, artillery, and infantry. Nothing too great. However... If we look at this, they have a bigger industry, or at least one that's equal to my own, so they can keep them supplied as well as I can keep my own supplied. They've also got one million manpower, uh, which is not nothing, and they haven't even unlocked their final form. They're still just on war economy. They're still just on extensive conscription. They can definitely go higher. It's like me, I'm on service by requirement to get as many as I have, and that's causing my factories to uh, be hurt. But then we look over here at India, yeah, India potentially has 7 million manpower, and I'm sure they haven't even cored everything yet. So, like, yeah, if I'm just kind of clicking on this, this is still an occupied state. That's still an occupied state. Uh, that's still an occupied state. Delhi with 38 million people in it is still an occupied state. So they're only going to keep getting stronger. Uh, you know, Vietnam out here. That's another... Whoops. They've got half a million that's still available to them. But like if we look at all of Greater Indochina, okay, wait, they don't have anything. But yeah, you guys are understanding my point. Like they, they have me beaten in every possible way. And as you can see now, I'm just surrounded by enemies. If I push through East Turkestan, I'm gonna be on the front with Russia. Although again, like I said, Russia's gonna fall soon anyway. So I just really, really wanna stress, there's absolutely no way I could win this war. Not to mention that if I, I'm out of position right now anyway. I'm surrounded, I'm outgunned, I'm outmanned, uh, you know, I, I, I don't have the industry, uh, yeah, so that's that, but I think we did pretty damn good for uh, one of the arguably weaker, I think it's easy to argue it's a weak click, it's maybe the weakest click, I haven't played Hunan, I hear Hunan's pretty weak, uh, but I think overall we had a good run of it, we had some fun along the way. So, uh, wait, what is this? Papa, is this new? I've never seen this nation. Oh, it's just got a generic tree anyway. Sarwak. Nice hat, dude. Yeah, so, um, I'm Concrete History Games. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Uh, I'll try to get a new episode up, maybe at the same time today or maybe tomorrow. Uh, we're probably going to do some Equestria at War yet, because it has been way too long since I played that. I think I did a live stream of it last time, I remember, but I don't even remember what nation I was playing. But it actually might have almost been a year. Because so I remember playing some Equestria at War around last April, but I don't remember exactly what I was playing. 
But thank you very much for everybody who watched. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know why you're this far into the game and you haven't yet. Uh, or to the show and haven't yet. But uh, y'all have yourselves a very nice day. And if you actually, if you really, really want to support the channel, I'm going to try to set up memberships in the next month. But I also have a Patreon linked below. And if anybody has suggestions for memberships, let me know. Uh, the membership ideas like emojis or what kinds of membership exclusive streams I could do and things like that. Hey, you, everybody, uh, have a pleasant day. Bye.